And just like that, the old pressure vessel has been restored. Probably hasn't looked this good since the 1960s. Awesome. We think that this was originally used as a dry cleaning vessel, perhaps to recycle the dry cleaning fluid. Not entirely sure on that, but at any rate, I'm going to be using this as a vacuum chamber slash pressure vessel. So I can use this for everything from getting bubbles out of an acrylic cast to autoclaving mushroom media. <laughs> I think the first thing I want to do with it is recreate the atmosphere of the Carboniferous and then uh, light a fire, see how things would have burned back in that geologic time period. I ended up using this uh, high heat paint. You see it can resist up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. The idea here is that I can get the chamber hot without damaging the paint. And also this paint, after I bake it, will produce very little volatile organics because they've already all volatilized out. Of course, ideally for a vacuum chamber you want like bare metal on the inside, but that just wasn't happening. If I lift this lid up and then turn it over, you can see the tin gasket. So this is metallic tin. The idea is this will be much stronger and more gas tight than a silicone seal could ever be. Which of course is important because this, when it's got a vacuum inside, has about three tons of force being exerted on it. And the silicone seal that I was using, I had to replace almost every time. You see, the edge of this chamber is pretty sharp right here, and that will push into the tin, creating a perfect seal. Now, of course, the tin will get buggered up, but all I've got to do is run along with a torch to remelt it to reform the gasket. So that's pretty much it for this video. I still need to put on all the vacuum equipment. So until then, I'll see you next time. <laughs>